Hello. Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everybody. Welcome back to the next session of SAP ABAP 100 training series and thank you for choosing JK Tutorials. So in this session, we will discuss about information models. What are the information models? So data modeling, what is this? Okay. Or HANA views. So we will discuss all of those things in the today's session. Okay. So what is our data modeling? What is this data modeling mean? Data model. So data modeling is a process which is done by a developer with a bias only, which is so-called another consultant or another developer. So what is a data model? Let's understand that. What is this? So it is also known as information model or also known as HANA views or HANA information, HANA information model. So what is all this all about? So the data of an enterprise is distributed across multiple tables. In order to take out some meaningful results from HANA, we need to combine these two, these tables together. Okay. Now as a technical consultant, we can write a web report with complex SQL. But is this clear? So what is this data modeling data of an ERP system is distributed, okay, is distributed among multiple tables, okay, in order to take out, for example, I have some different tables, for example, VBAK, VBAP, VBRP. So data is distributed in all of these uh, tables, but to find out the meaningful, like for example, I have a MARA, MARA, MARA table, MAKG table, and MAR table. So if I want to display some report with which will contain material with description and history location, what are we, as a developer, we need to write a report which can fetch the data from all the tables. So same, this is data model is same. So data of an ERP system is distributed among all the, among all multiple, among multiple tables in order to take out some meaningful result, okay? Meaningful results from HANA. What we need is, we need to combine these tables together, okay? We need to put some joints, we need to put some, uh, what is, four all entities to find, to combine all those tables to find out the, some meaningful result. So as a technical consultant, We can write, we can write ABAP reports, okay, with complex SQL, okay. We can write from our ABAP reports with our complex SQL, okay. Our SQL query, our select query, we can find out using this, but, but it has some disadvantages also, okay. What are these disadvantages? Are? Advantages. Okay, what is it? So the first advantage is, so the first disadvantage of this, since we are writing an ABAP queries, these queries are submitted to the database and then results are obtained, then we fetch the results. So these leads to traffic between ABAP and HANA layer, right? So the ABAP query, you give the database a section convert to native query, then a query plan is created in HANA, executed, and then results came out. At times, it becomes so complex. To write such queries, and needs, it needs high technical consultant, high technical knowledge. So, so we, so the side, uh, this is the main problem, okay? We need a high technical knowledge, otherwise you may end up by writing something which is not good for performance. So the first one, you already saw just now we have written an MBA program. It was in the previous we have uh, written one some MBA programs uh, where it was catching the use data. So same thing what I am telling is since, one second guys, I have to since we are writing our MBA queries, these queries are submitted to the DB. Okay, and then results are obtained. This leads to traffic between ABAP and HANA layer. Okay, is this clear? So this is one disadvantage of this. So also it becomes so complex to write such queries 
and needs high technical knowledge. Okay, a person with domain knowledge knowledge without skill knowledge. That SQL knowledge should be also model should be also okay should be able to model the data okay the business knowledge without technical knowledge without SQL knowledge this guy a domain a person from domain side will also be able to do this okay so these are some problems with the queries when you work with queries okay so when you work with reports you have some performance challenges because there is a lot of traffic between uh, application layer and database layer back and forth you may it at times compromises with the guidelines filing lot of select queries key select text uh, select improves not really improves performance it causes uh, complex high high complex logic and it needs high technical and functional person or domain guy domain model okay is this clear so sql knowledge cannot really do anything about now that's where sap thought about it and they have came up with the concept of model so what is the concept of modeling so concept of modeling is let me write here what is the concept of modeling okay so the concept of modeling is basically allows us to develop data model using tables and other model and produce desired data out of HANA system. So the part, best part is we can develop these models without any technical knowledge. Yes, guys, without any SQL knowledge. Don't need to know this. Even your functional consultant, people can do can, can do it if you do their data modeling. Okay. So the next benefit of this is, is this clear? Okay, concept of modeling. So allows us to develop data models using tables and other models and produce desired data out of HANA system. Okay, the best part is we can develop these models okay these models without any technical sql knowledge these models are created they are stored and transported and will transported in hana system Okay, so we get naturally, we have discussed in the beginning what is this code to data paradigm, code to data paradigm, okay? Is this clear? So these, these uh, data models are natively created. So you get naturally code to data paradigm. You get this naturally code to data paradigm because it's all within the HANA. And you all know HANA is big investment for a company today because they spend a lot of on hardware keeping all the data in the RAM. You can take parts out of SAP HANA using data model. So is this clear? What is this concept of modeling? You know, what is this advantage, advantage of this data? Uh, of, is this clear? Okay. So now next we will see what are all the types of information models in the SAP HANA. Okay. This is a big uh, this is an interview question, guys. What are all the types of information models in SAP HANA? Okay, what are the types of information models in SAP HANA? Okay, so information models, so there are three types of information models we will be learning. All of three of them are Okay, uh, I'm not sure some of you have already listened about uh, this or not. So first data model, which is, uh, this again, 
the first data model which is is our analytical view okay second is attribute view and third is calculation view okay now when you read the books or some material which you got from your like some of your friend so you know like these uh, you may know about this this analytical and attribute views i have highlight this out these are deprecated guys okay these two uh, views have been deprecated from hana 2.0 onwards okay so from hana 2.0 onwards sap have made these two views deprecated okay these two views analytical view and attribute view so what is this deprecated word means okay so the word deprecated uh, many of you may think interpret the, the word deprecated in a wrong sense the moment somebody say deprecated yeah guys sorry so uh, we were there yeah So what is this deprecated word mean? So this means there is no development from SAP side. The first thing it means that there is no development from the SAP side, and the second is you will not basically get new feature in this space in the future. Is this clear? So next, if you got some problems say in this analytical or attribute views, which you think is standard, SAP will not fix this works. So if you hit a roll a uh, roll block due to standard functionality problem, SAP won't help you. So these all two views are not completely removed from the system, but SAP said don't use these two things. Is this clear? That what it means. So SAP recommends us to not use these two any two views anymore. It doesn't mean you cannot create uh, them anymore. The next important is it clear? So the next important maintenance thing is maintenance is not guaranteed. Which means today, if you are creating a view which is analytical or a uh, or a attribute view, SAP may say in future I will not even allow you to create in future. Okay, or I will not allow you to modify them in future. If you create it some, so so if you have some challenges in the future when you use these types of users, create these type of views. Yet it does not mean you cannot create them. Okay, you can still create them. We can. We will see how to create these views also. Okay, so that we will discuss later. So is this clear? So what is this concept of modeling? So this concept of modeling means it will allow us to develop a data model using tables and other models and produce the de uh, desired data of, out of HANA system. Okay, so basically from after uh, HANA 2.0, this calculation view is only there. Is this clear? So let's move to the next slide, and we will see what are the types. First, we will talk about the types of data in the HANA. Or yeah, we will see that in the next session. That's all for this session, guys. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye.